hello welcome to all my beautiful vibrant souls who are capricorn suns or have other major capricorn placements welcome to your october 2023 uh, monthly forecast um so I'm really excited. We have a lot of good stuff to get into today. Um, I am going to be pulling just kind of general tarot messages for um, your month ahead and what you can expect. But because we are approaching the time of year where the veil is at its thinnest and there is the least uh, you know, amount of barrier between the earthly realm and the spirit realm, I'm going to be pulling a special message after we do our general tarot messages about... Um, what it is that you will be receiving the most clear guidance on or what will be um, most noticeably passing from the spirit realm to you, whether, again, it's guidance on an issue, um, connecting with particular spirit guides, connecting with your own um, spiritual practice more, etc. Um, kind of what's going to be coming through the most strongly for you. So I'm really excited. We have good stuff to get into today. Um, can't see it, but so I recently started, I took up crochet as a hobby and I made this little candy corn beret. You can't see the white, but I'm like, oh, it's so much fun. I've got candy corn, everything right now. And I'm just very, very happy about it. Um, anyway, let's get into it. Shall we? I'm going to just tuck my hair behind my ear. So I'm not like fussing with it the whole time. Cool. Should have done that before, but driving me bonkers. I hope you guys are having a good day. I hope your month is off to a very wonderful start. Uh, yeah. Ten of Swords in reverse. Pardon my itchy nose. Blah, blah. Um, the worst is over. I will say when I started shuffling before I started recording, there was one card sticking out that got my attention. It was the Knight of Cups. So some of you could be water signs of cap placements or, you know, you could be caps with the significant water placements. But I'm getting the sense of full steam ahead. Something's finally moving forward again after, um, after... A, a pretty significant loss um so let's see what you have yeah okay we have the knight of wands reversed fire energy showing up temperance okay sagittarius's energy showing up also in reverse the queen of pentacles also in reverse um so this would be taurus virgo capricorn you guys there we go wow and the five of swords okay this is a month where I feel, I want to just clarify this five of swords really quick. Three of swords. Mirror's okay. Um, what else? I just want to get the exact context to this. Six of cups. All right, you're dealing with somebody from your past. The fool reverse. Okay, you're dealing with somebody from your past, potentially. This could be somebody you have past life energy with. You guys go way back, even if they're newer to your life. You feel as if there is a history there. And you guys have been wondering if it's possible to heal with them because what I see here is a power struggle, right? Um, I think there's different agendas. Pardon my itchy nose. My allergies and my asthma are just awful lately. Um, there's a difference in agendas. There's a difference in goals. And there's a difference in maturity, and that's very important to take note of. I feel like what you are looking for um, is something stable. Pardon me, itchy. Now I'm itchy on my back. So something stable, something grounded. <clears throat> You're looking for reciprocity in a partnership. Um, you're looking for somebody to notice the small details, to pick up the slack, to pay attention to the things that matter, um, to do their part on a daily basis, things like that. The person you've been dealing with is not like that. The person you've been dealing with, you know, the Knight of Wands is a seeker kind of energy, um, but they're very inconsistent. They're very driven by their passions. Again, pardon my itchy nose. Um, they're very driven by their passions. Um, they never really build anything stable because they're still kind of figuring out what they feel the most drawn to, where they want to kind of put all their energy behind something. They're still finding out what that thing is. And this has been a struggle. I think when things are good between you and this person, you can kind of help balance each other out. You might bring that practicality um, to the equation. Pardon my itchy nose, guys. I'm really sorry. Okay, there you go. Um, you might bring the practicality to the equation. Um, you might be somebody who's very goal-oriented, something I'm getting, somebody who's a planner, somebody who is detail-oriented, somebody who... Um, you know, you have a long-term vision and you're not afraid to do the work to get there. 
Um, and this person I feel is fun. This person is exciting. This person has a lot of good ideas, I feel. They might like always come up with good ideas and they, they get excited about them, right? They're, they're enthusiastic. Um, and so when the two of you are working together and working together well, it's a really, really good harmonious energy. This has that expansive feeling of like, there's nothing the two of us can't accomplish. This person also might be very magnetic as well. They might be very good at drawing people toward them. Um, and then you might be good at kind of like, this person could like draw people toward the two of you. And then you might be very good at like, um, if this is like, you know, like a creative collaboration or business, you're really good at then like um, securing those relationships, defining them in like a regular context. Uh, context. You might be really good with like getting the energy of contracts. Um, so like, you know, you're really good at spelling out, you know, here's what we need from you. Um, this would also be the energy of like, you know, somebody who's, uh, who's very social can like, like if you guys are like a couple, they're like very social attracts people in and then you're the one who's remembering to follow up on like, you know, birthdays, you're the one who's like organizing events, there's stuff like that where it can work really, really well. But what's missing is a sense of reciprocity. And that's what you've been waiting for from this person. You notice how there's only one animal here. Well, there's technically there's two, but there's only one of the cat and there's two of the wolves right? You're looking for somebody to be your partner. And I feel like what you've been asking for this person is acknowledgement more than anything else. What is it as well? Eight of cups reversed. You're asking for this person to just stay and be consistent, right? You're asking for this person to just not give up on the potential here because you're in it for the long haul, right? Whatever, what is the context of this relationship? Again, it'll be different for everybody. The four of wands reversed, and the four of pentacles reverse. This could be somebody that you are in a romantic partnership with, somebody you live with, somebody you're trying to establish a home with. This also could be somebody, again, where there's a creative element, there's a creative project that you're trying to monetize, you're trying to turn into a business. There's something about the spiritual and the earthly meeting. We have earth and fire mixing a lot in this reading. Yeah, and the eight of swords reverse. <clears throat> I feel like a lot of you guys have had this kind of revelation or recognition of the fact that this person's really struggling to meet you part way. Um, again, temperance in reverse. There is, this is usually we're taking two opposites and we're blending them to make magic. Something's not coming together here. There's chemistry and there's a spark, but there's nothing comes of it because there isn't the ability to collaborate. Um, this person, again, you know, eight of cups reverse. What you're asking from this person is just, you know, stay with me, stick around, right? Um, this is kind of that energy of, it doesn't have to be perfect, but stay with me and work it out. Give it a try. Try to meet me part way. That's what you're asking. And it's a very reasonable request. I need to take a sip of my tea. A very reasonable request. And what I see from this is this person with the five of swords has been all power struggle. Um, and, you know, I clarified the five of swords. We have the three of swords and the six of cups. This person is causing a lot of heartbreak. And I think it's hard because you might feel very loyal to this person, very um, emotionally attached or indebted to this person. Or there's a lot of past life energy here. Again, even if they haven't been in your life for long, they feel familiar. It feels like there's a lot of momentum behind this, a lot of energy behind this. Some of you guys, it's like I've only known this person three months is something I'm getting. Three months, six months. I don't know why I'm so attached. I don't know why, like... You know, I'm trying so hard. There's something like this, but because there's past life energy here. Um, and you guys are trying to solve an issue or work out an issue from another lifetime this time around. So this is a month where I feel like, you know, because again, all these cards came out reversed, except for the Five of Swords. I feel like this month, you guys are going to have an argument. I'm going to be honest. Um, they're going to just say the wrong thing. The Five of Swords is usually dealing with petty people, people who kind of almost weaponize communication or silence. Um, this is something where it's like, even though there's all this, you know, nostalgia, this fondness, this love, this, you know, feeling of loyalty, this feeling of like, I really want to make this work. I'm trying, like, take the offer, take the olive branch, take what I'm giving, because I feel like you're giving a very generous offer to this person. Um, you're really trying hard. This could be somebody that you have a very strained relationship with over time. And it's kind of like, I'm really trying to make this work because I'd rather have you in my life in some way, shape or form than not at all. But you have to give me something is kind of the energy. And this is a month where even though there's all that love, 
this person with the five of swords and the three of swords says something that just takes it too far that's just the final just like knife right in there what is this thing that happened i'm sorry i'm spiritually nosy um the five of cups reversed i'm getting a lack of acknowledgement about how much they hurt you oh okay hang on ace of wands flipped itself out king of wands there it is and the king of pentacles reversed it's interesting we have the king and queen of pentacles coming out and then we have the knight of wands to the king of wands i feel somebody um okay because to clarify we have the five of cups in reverse i feel one of two things is going to happen <clears throat> either you're getting another offer or they are um, we see this with the Ace of Wands. You know, the Five of Cups always indicates there's been loss and we're so focused on that. We don't see what other opportunities are available to us. And when it's in reverse, this suggests that, okay, we're acknowledging loss, but we're also acknowledging that there are other good things out there, right? There are other things that can be meant for us. And we're kind of, you know, in the space of acceptance and moving on. Um, and, you know, it always indicates on the traditional card, some of the guys looking at the three spilled cups, and he doesn't notice that two are left standing right behind him. Um, so when it comes out reversed, it's an indication of, um, you know, and then another offer is being made in the wake of loss of something that was important to us. Um, there might be this thing that's playing out this month where you might be having to let this person go, but then in the wake of that, you're getting another offer. Or again, this this could be them because tarot can, you know, it's, it's reciprocal to a certain extent. It can go both ways. Um, either that or this person, so I'm seeing one of, one of two scenarios, either, either this person, you and this person are very strained and it's kind of like you're feeling lost about this, but you're also feeling very frustrated. This person might get another offer or another opportunity and release you from the partnership. And I think that while it's sad, it's also kind of a relief for you guys because I feel a lot of you guys have sunk a lot of time and I'm getting also two resources into this situation. Um, or there's the acknowledgement of like that you and this person could have an argument and then it's kind of that acknowledgement of like, wow, this is really not going to change or wow, they really, really overstepped their bounds here. And it's like, as a recognition of that, you then bring in another offer. It's like, once you realize with the King of Pentacles in reverse that, you know, we have the full moon all about release. Once you realize that this person cannot meet you as an equal partner and have equal give and take, that immediately brings in a new offer very quickly with the Ace of Wands. And the person that would be giving you this new offer, it could be a fire sign as well, it could be an earth sign, heavy fire and earth here. Um, but this is somebody who knows what they want and they're very motivated to go get it. This is somebody who's got their eyes on the prize. Um, because that's a huge difference between the Knight of Wands and the King of Wands. Both the King and Queen of Wands are very confident people, right? Um, they know what they want. They're not afraid to go after it. They're very motivated. They're very magnetic. They attract toward them exactly who and what they need to in order to fulfill their soul's purpose, their soul's mission, right? And the difference is the Knight of Wands is still kind of putting their finger on what that is right the knight of wands doesn't fully see it when they're looking at it they're still figuring it out the king and queen of wands they know they feel it and they trust their instincts they go after that because they're like yes this is what i'm supposed to be doing this is where i'm supposed to be um but the knight of wands is still kind of figuring that like i don't know is this it maybe it's this maybe it's that um so if you guys are the ones getting the offer it's going to come in very, very quickly after there is some type of difficult conversation with the person you've been dealing with. And that's going to bring in this true King of Wands offer, somebody who has that passion that you like that might balance you out, who has that drive, maybe who has um, quite a large audience um, or who has um, a lot of attention on them, somebody who's very passionate, also very spiritual, but who is mature with it, who is um, able to bring a lot to the table. This would be you know, a true balancing, like, you know, opposites attract in healthy balance type of energy that you would be cultivating with this person. Um, again, heavy and whenever the pentacles and the wand suit come together, that's an entrepreneurial energy for me. And because we have all fire and earth here, this could very well be in your career, or this could very well be um, like a creative project. Like I said, you're trying to get off the ground or monetize. What is this card? Six of Wands. Yeah, there's victory here. There is success here. 
uh, seven of wands reversed in the three of wands. That's why, because you're releasing the future plans you had had that are clearly not going anywhere. And I hate to be so blunt about it. Um, I, I'm sorry, I don't want to be insensitive, but it's, I think this is where you guys are at this month is you have, you finally have a conversation, a recognition, the person, you know, this knight of wands in reverse finally does something or doesn't do something. This person might not show up for something. They were like, this has this energy of you plan this important event like a launch i'm getting the idea of like there's a launch for something or an important event and you did all the detail work you set everything up all this person had to do was show up on time and like maybe like you know give a small speech or just show up and like talk to people something that they they naturally do well it's very little effort for them and they didn't even do that or they shoot they showed up like two hours late or like some shit like that um, and it's kind of like this recognition of like, you know what, I don't give a shit how far back we go. I don't, I don't give a shit how much I enjoy your company, how much nostalgia and like good feelings I have for you. This is fucking ridiculous. It's kind of the energy I'm picking up on here. And by that happening, that's what brings your next offer in. Or like I said, for some of you, this person is ditching the partnership in favor of something else. And if that's the case, it will feel like a relief, right? It's going to be like, oh, thank God. I didn't know how to get out of it without, you know, hurting their feelings. I didn't know how to... Um, you know, step away from the partnership without ruining our friendship, maybe, you know, there's something kind of like that, where you have a lot of emotional investment with this person. But when it comes to the functional day to day of either running your business, getting your project off the ground, making a relationship work, you know, you know, maybe like you guys are great friends, but as like romantic partners, it's not working, or you guys get along really well. But like, when it comes to like, you know, maybe trying to live together or something when you're in each other's space all the time. It's like, it's not working. There's something where you guys are going to be able to release each other. And it's going to be a weight off your shoulders. So I want to see what your special, your special like Halloween time message is. So again, it's going to be looking at what is coming through to you as the veil is at its thinnest toward the end of the month. <laughs> I'm just pointing this out. We have uh, Lady de los Huertos on the bottom of the deck, acceptance and equality. I don't know what were you just talking about. Um, so let's see what you have. Yeah, you have cauldron with synergy and healing. I feel this is very much related to your message where um, I feel like you have your spirit guides kind of helping as much as possible. I'm noticing the smoke coming up. It's almost like energy is being sent your way. Doing candle magic might help. Doing um, like divination through like um, like smoke scrying or like lighting incense and watching what the smoke is doing and using that to interpret messages might be really helpful. Um, but there's a sense here where you're, what's coming through to you from the other side very, very strongly over the next month is, like we said, synergy and healing. And this has a lot to do with this acceptance and equality energy, right? Something, it's accepting what um, is truly not equivalent to your effort and being willing to let it go, being willing to let it end. I'm just taking a sip of tea. You guys almost dumped that all over myself. Wow, <laughs> that's humbling. Um, and I do feel like this will create, it's going to seem like almost kind of like magic. Like I don't want to say instant healing, but very close. It's because you've been doing the work. I think a lot of you guys have been, I don't want to say testing this person in this situation, but you've been discerning, right? You've been kind of watching what they do. Um, and this is why it's been coming to this place for a long time. So by the time it all kind of comes to a head, a lot of you guys have kind of like, you understand it, you're, you're accepting of it. Um, you're putting the pieces where they need to be. So there's not a lot of confusion or, um, emotional kind of like purging left. I feel like the healing process is going to move quite quickly, but you also are getting a burst of energy sent through, excuse me, sent through from the other side to assist in this, um, judgment. Yeah. This is because this was a, a, an important judgment call that's coming through the five of swords. Yes. The six of swords reverse. Yep. Um, and then, yeah, I want to pull you guys like one more, but I don't know what the card is. And the ace of swords. Beautiful. I love this with the tower at the bottom. Yes. This is, this is what I mean. I feel like you're getting a lot of assistance with this healing. This has a lot to do with your other message. Um, because you're at this turning point where I feel, you know, this is, this is like the, the chaotic thoughts, the difficult communication, the fights, the angry words, the charged silences, things like that. And the six of swords reversed is where 
you know, you're struggling to kind of like move out of this energy. You're struggling to find peace, to find acceptance, to move on. This is kind of where you've been is like really having to kind of fight yourself in the, you know, in your mental realm, fight yourself when it comes to your thoughts. This is a lot of like, am I the asshole? Am I asking too much? You've been already doing a lot of this. That's why you're at this judgment turning point. And I love seeing that what's on the other side of this is this ace of swords, this clarity, this understanding, um, this sense of especially the judgment card can be a life review where it's looking at where you've been how it got you to where you are where you want to go and how best to get there this is where you're kind of having a lot of clarity about okay you know what i see what um i see what led to this situation i see how i played a part in it i see what i want to do differently next time i think that's also why the healing process is going to be um, feel kind of expedited or why it's going to move along you know relatively quickly is because um like you've been, like I said, doing a lot of background work. Um, I had a thought and it just fell out of my brain. Sorry, guys. Um, but you've been doing a lot of the, the work in the background to prepare for this. You're also having a big breakthrough. Oh, that's what it was. Um, but also like you're, you have prepared your energy, right? You've done a lot of the work. And so that's why I always talk about this, but like, you know, everything starts and ends with spirit. It starts in the ether and, you know, comes down through our levels of consciousness, through our mental realm, our emotional realm. It grounds into our physical reality. And similarly, when we're working through things, we have experiences in the, the 3D, in the physical world around us. We interact with things and it changes our mindset. It changes our emotions and it kind of ascends back up. And then the last thing that is that it, it changes is our energy and that's usually the last step in a very long process of healing a very long process of growth so it's something that can seem very quick like i don't know why i'm now over this like i don't know why like this bothered me for so long and now i feel kind of finer i don't know why i'm ready to let this go all of a sudden it's because you've been going through the levels of uh of calling it in working with it and then releasing it back out right um, and so I feel like you guys are on that last step and there's a lot of energy helping support you in that process. So the energy is going to move very, very quickly and get you back into a state of harmony um, relatively fast. This is going to be a big month for that. So I think that's everything I'm seeing for you guys for this month. I hope this has been helpful and wishing you a ha safe, happy, healthy month ahead. And I will hopefully talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.